After finishing up his career at Ohio State, Bill Willis coaches for a year at Kentucky State, a black school, and had no opportunity to play in the NFL. But after Paul Brown became the coach of the new league's Cleveland Browns, Willis wrote him a letter. Basically, he did not ask him for a chance to play or try out, but pretty much laid the foundation for the possibility. Paul Brown knew what he wanted. He knew how to uh, manipulate, if you will, to get things done. Paul actually had one of the sports writers talk to my father to insist that he stop by the training camp and try out for the team. A writer by the name of Paul Hornick. And he bet him a Stetson hat. He said, if you stop by the Cleveland Browns training camp in Bowling Green, Ohio, I'll bet you that Paul Brown will give you a tryout. The first day, Bill was so quick off the mark, and the Browns were just putting in the T formation. That was new, the snap to the quarterback under center. For the first time, he goes around the center. Next time, he goes around the other side. Then he goes under the center, then goes over top of the center and lands on Otto Graham's foot. And that's when Paul Brown said, okay, that's enough, stop, stop. He didn't want to hurt his premier quarterback. Bill was a great player, and he had a firmness of character that was exceptional. My dad thought highly of him as a person, and my dad offered to sign him to a contract. Three days after Willis signed that contract, Another black player walked into Brown's camp. His name was Marion Motley, the same Marion Motley who played against Brown's team in high school and lined up for him in the Navy. Now, the six foot, one inch, nearly 240 pound, 26 year old Motley had left a job as a steel mill worker to come to camp, hoping to return to the game that seemed perfectly suited to his remarkable athletic gifts. Paul Brown originally put him on the squad to become Bill Willis's roommate, but he knew what he had in Mary Molly, but he didn't know it was going to blow up as, as big as it did. Marion could do everything. Play linebacker, he could run, he was strong. In those days, you know, a guy playing 238, playing in the backfield, that was big. Even now, that's big. But the guy like that coming through the line, he scares you. He was a train wreck, and, and I was one of the guys that he wrecked. <laughs> We're scrimmaging, and I'm playing safety, and, and Barry Motley busts through the line, a big hole, and now I'm the only thing between him and the goal line. And here's Motley coming at me. And I just put my head down and somehow managed to bring him down. He did have a slow start, but once he got going, you, you didn't want to be in his way. <laughs> 